If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. Hello friends, my name is Bayadin Nirmal and the burning question in my mind today is this. Is eating eggs good or bad for your health? For a long time, they have told us that eggs, especially the yellow part or egg yolks, are bad for you, that they increase bad cholesterol. But scientists are beginning to understand other health benefits of eggs. Egg yolks are one of the best sources of lutein a pigment that has been linked to better eyesight and lower risk of eye disease. The conclusion I have reached is this. The vast majority of recent research suggests that the eggs pose no risk to our health and are much more likely to provide health benefits. One egg has only 75 calories but 7 grams of high quality protein, 5 grams of fat and only 1.6 grams of saturated fat along with iron, vitamins, minerals and carotenoids. The egg is a powerhouse of disease fighting nutrients like lutein and geoxanthin. Even so, Having eggs for breakfast every day is probably not the healthiest option. I recommend that we have a varied diet, balanced diet. Eat eggs, but not excessively. Egg yolks are the yellow part at the center of an egg. They contain high levels of cholesterol, but also provide a range of vital nutrients and health benefits. Eggs are a low-cost, nutrient-dense food that is easy to access and prepare, making them an excellent dietary staple for many people worldwide. They are extremely versatile. People can prepare eggs in several different ways or use them in many aspects of food preparation, cooking and baking. In this video, we explain the benefits and nutritional breakdown of egg yolks. We also compare them with egg whites and provide tips on how to eat them safely. Now the benefits. Eating egg yolk may lower a person's risk of gastrointestinal distress. Eating the egg white and yolk together in a whole egg provides the right balance of protein, fat, and calories. This combination allows most people to feel fuller and more satisfied after eating eggs in meals. However, a 2019 review suggests that most of the nutrients in an egg are in the yolk. The distribution of proteins, however, is even throughout the whole egg. The review highlights several benefits that the nutrients and proteins in egg yolk may provide, including number one, a lower risk of gastrointestinal distress, number two, a boosted immune system, number three, lower blood pressure, number four, reduced risk of vision problems. However, it is worth noting that many of the benefits that I have told you are based on the review which did not test the effect of egg yolks on humans. Instead, they performed the test in a laboratory or on animals. Therefore, the findings may not apply to humans. Researchers have also started exploring the potential of various immune stimulants called immunoglobulins, which are present in egg yolks. Since the link between excess weight and heart disease is well established, thumbs up to eggs for appetite control. There, but there are cautions. Eggs are a source of saturated fat, and too much saturated fat has been shown to raise 
total cholesterol and LDL, which is bad cholesterol. Risk factors for cardiovascular disease. If there was such a thing as a perfect food, eggs would be a contender. They are readily available, easy to cook, affordable, and packed with protein. The egg is meant to be something that has all the right ingredients to grow an organism. So obviously it is nutrition, nutrient dense, says Christopher Blesso, associate professor of nutritional science at the University of Connecticut in the U.S. Eating eggs alongside other food can help our bodies absorb more vitamins too. For example, one study found that adding an egg to salad can increase how much vitamin E we get from the salad. But for decades, eating eggs has also been controversial due to their high cholesterol content, which some studies have linked to an increased risk of heart disease. One egg yolk contains around 185 milligrams of cholesterol which is more than half of the 300 mg daily amount of cholesterol that the U.S. dietary guideline recommended until recently. Does that mean that eggs, rather than being an ideal food, might actually be doing us harm? Cholesterol, a yellowish fat produced in our liver and intestines, can be found in every one of our body's cells. We normally think of it as bad, but cholesterol is a crucial building block in our cell membranes. It also is needed for the body to make vitamin D and the hormones testosterone and oestrogen. We produce all the cholesterol we need on our own, but it is also found in animal produce we consume, including beef, prawns and eggs. As, as well as cheese and butter. LDL cholesterol, referred to as bad cholesterol, is transported from the, li from the liver to arteries and body tissues. Researchers say that this can result in a buildup of cholesterol in the blood vessels and increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. But researchers have not definitely linked consumption of cholesterol to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. As a result, U.S. dietary guidelines no longer have a cholesterol restriction, nor does the U.K. Instead, emphasis is being placed on limiting how much saturated fat we consume, which can increase the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Foods containing trans fats in particular increase our LDL levels. Although some trans fats occur naturally in animal products, most are made artificially and are found in highest levels in margarines, snacks, and some deep fried and baked foods such as pastry, donuts, and cake. So, for better health, eat more veggies and fruits and less meat. Also, stay away from deep fried and baked foods like pastry, donuts, cakes, ice cream, and other sweets. Meanwhile, along with proteins, eggs are the only food high in cholesterol that are low in saturated fat. Quote, while the cholesterol in eggs is much higher than in meat and other animal products, eggs have less saturated fat. Saturated fat increases blood cholesterol. This has been demonstrated by lots of studies for many years, unquote, says Maria Fernandez, professor of nutritional sciences at the University of Connecticut in the U.S., whose latest research found no relationship between eating eggs and an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Quote, there are systems in place so that for most people, dietary cholesterol is not a problem, unquote, says Elizabeth Johnson, research associate, professor of nutritional sciences 
at Tufts University in Boston, U.S. And when it comes to eggs, cholesterol may pose even less of a health risk. Cholesterol is more harmful when oxidized in our arteries, but oxidization does not happen to the cholesterol in eggs, says Blesso. Quote, when cholesterol is oxidized, it may be more inflammatory, and there are all kinds of antioxidants in eggs that protect it from being oxidized, unquote, he says. Also, some cholesterol may actually be good for you. High density lipoprotein or HDL cholesterol travels to the liver where it is broken down and removed from the body. HDL is thought to have protective effect against cardiovascular disease by preventing cholesterol from building up in the blood. Quote, people should be concerned about cholesterol that circulates in their blood, which is the one that leads to heart disease, unquote, says Fernandez. What matters is the ratio of HDL to LDL in our bodies. As elevator HDL counteracts the effects of LDL, some studies have shown that eggs are bad for your health, that it increases the chance of cardiovascular disease. However, such studies are observational and it's impossible to tease out cause and effect. Similarly, numerous other studies have, suggest, have suggested that eggs are good for heart health, heart health. One previous analysis of half a million adults in China, published in 2018, even found the exact opposite, that egg consumption was associated with lower risk of heart disease. Those who ate eggs every day had an 18% lower risk of death from heart disease and 28% lower risk of stroke death compared to those who did not eat eggs. Like the previous study, this study too was observational, meaning it is impossible to tease out cause and effect. Thank you very much. If you have not subscribed to my channel, Please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. You can also click on the share button and share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter or via email.